This is Becky Legira with CalvinAir.com, and we are in Las Vegas, just finishing up day one of. Let's try that again. This is Becky Legiro and CalvinAir.com is in Las Vegas at a very scary G2E just finishing up day number one. The AGA told us about some of the excitement that was going on on the conference floor. Um, one thing that you're seeing on the floor a lot this year are slots themed um, to coincide with pop culture themes like movies, television, etc. There's an Avatar machine, there's a Titanic machine, Walking Dead, you see zombies roaming the floor today. Um, we've always focused on pop culture in the gaming industry. Those machines are always popular with customers, but now they incorporate a lot of new technologies that maybe weren't around a decade ago. The unveiling of the Avatar game took place at the IGT booth, we caught the actual ribbon cutting ceremony led by CEO Patty Hart. One of the things that Avatar did that I think separated it from other movies that were out at the time was innovation. And I think what IGT has done in the games they're showing today, they brought new innovation. Gamers are going to be able to sit down at these machines and have a totally new and immersive experience of slot machines like they've never had before. told us the importance of location as a service in a regulated U.S. market. We can locate five billion devices anywhere on the planet and we work in a lot of different industries but recently in the last two years we've been in the gaming market. So it started with Sportsbook with uh, Cantor and William Hill um, when uh, the Nevada legislation here said hey it's okay to bet on your mobile device. The issue is where is that mobile device? So you can't bet in California or Montana, you can only do it in the state of Nevada. So what my technology does is it geolocates, pings the device and ascertains that it's actually in the state. And that's what the regulators like and that's why we're important in this industry. And we learned about Patty Power's plans for entry into a regulated U.S. market. Uh, we're very excited at what might happen in the future with, with sports betting, but we're also looking at what might happen in poker and casino, and obviously there's a number of states that are opening up, uh, not least uh, Nevada itself, where we are, but also New Jersey. So we've been talking to a number of people. We're looking at the right kinds of partnerships we can do to, to launch, hopefully, and scale at some point, but it really depends on, on how the market opens up. That's it for day one at G2E, and it's been <laughs> terrifying. We'll catch you back here for day number two, and thanks for watching. This is Becky Legiro with CalvinAir.com.